Welcome back, students. This is Thermodynamics Lesson 5, Hess's Law. Okay, so we're going to use Hess's Law today to calculate energy changes for a net reaction from a series of reactions. I call this Hess's Law the long way. So Hess's Law is basically this. Um, if you can add equations together, you can add their heats together. That's what they call it, the law of additivity. Now, that won't make a whole lot of sense yet, but as soon as I start explaining it with the diagrams, it'll make more sense. If we can add equations together, we can add their heats together. All right. So, for example, what is the molar enthalpy of formation of carbon monoxide? So you got to start with a balanced equation. You have to figure what that is, figure out what that is. And then you manipulate some known equations that they will provide you and, and get an answer. If you reverse an equation, you must reverse the sign. For example, if an equation uh, is negative and you flip it, it's now positive. Now, if you divide a whole equation by 2, you divide the delta H by 2 as well. Or if you multiply it by 3, you multiply the, the enthalpy by 3. Okay, let's look at an example. What's the molar enthalpy change for the formation of carbon monoxide? Well, the first step is we've got to start with a balanced equation. So we're forming carbon monoxide. So formation means from its elements, element, element, compound. So I have carbon plus a half of an oxygen, oxygen makes carbon monoxide. Question is, what is the delta H? Now, they're asking for molar, but we'll start with delta H instead of delta HM. Okay, so there's our balanced equation. <clears throat> Next. What we're trying to do is build this equation here out of these ones that have been given to us. So in order to do that, we have to identify each one of our reactants and products. So our first reactant is carbon solid. I go look for carbon solid. There it is, carbon solid. Okay. Now I compare the two. This is a reactant with one mole. There's no number in front, it's a one mole, right? This is a half of a mole. All right, reactant one mole, reactant one mole. We have a match. I have one mole as a reactant. I have one mole as a reactant. So I can manipulate this equation. In other words, in this one, I don't have to manipulate it. I can leave A as is. So I just copy down equation A exactly as I see it. And now I can check off carbon. Carbon is done. Next one. <clears throat> We're going to look up oxygens. Well, oxygens, they're in a couple of different places. Wouldn't know which one to pick. We can just skip oxygen. Now, with most of our equations today, we'll just be skipping oxygen. All right, carbon monoxide. I'm now going to look for that one, carbon monoxide. Okay, where is it? There it is right there. Now, compare them. This is a product, one mole. This is a reactant, two moles. Okay, so I've got a problem here. Now, I want to manipulate the known equations to build this equation. How would I manipulate equation B to get one mole of carbon monoxide as a product? Well, I have to reverse that whole equation, and i got to also divide it by two. Okay, so I'm going to reverse the equation <clears throat> and divide by 2. So I now have flipped this equation, CO2, CO, half of an oxygen, and I divided the whole thing by 2. Now remember, this was negative, so it's now positive, and I divided it by 2. So I now have this equation. Okay. Now Hess's Law says... If we can add equations together to get this equation, we can just simply add the heats together to find the unknown heat. So my CO2s are on opposite sides. This is a reactant. This is a product. They haven't changed reactant to product, so we just cancel them out. Now I have a half of an oxygen here and a whole oxygen here. Half of this will cancel out half of this one, leaving me with a leftover of a half. And so now you can see that I have carbon plus a half of an oxygen makes carbon monoxide. I have just built this equation out of these, 
Hess's law, the law of additivity. If I can build this equation out of these ones, or sorry, if I can build this equation out of these ones, I can add the heats together. Okay, so I have built my equation. My unknown heat is now, I just take my negative plus the 283, negative 110.5. And now we got to go back and make sure molar enthalpy. Okay, so molar means for one mole. Well, it just so happens that my carbon monoxide in my bounce equation is one mole already. So my delta H is the same as my delta HM. The molar enthalpy of carbon monoxide in this reaction is negative 110.5 kilojoules for every one mole. If there was a two here, I'd have to divide everything by 2 to get 1. Okay, that's molar enthalpy. There we go. Final answer. So you can try this one. What is the molar heat of combustion of methane given the following reactions? Okay, so I'll let you pause this, and then if you want to turn it on, then you can see. Here's how we do this. First of all, I need a desired equation. I'm going to burn methane. So that's my desired equation. H2O will come off as a gas because they haven't said this is in a calorimeter, this is an open system. Unless they specify a calorimeter, you can assume it's an open system. So I'll say H2O gas. All right, reactant number one, methane. Well, let's compare them. This is a, a reactant one mole, this is a product one mole. I have to reverse equation B. Next one, I'll skip oxygen. Just jump right to CO2. CO2, one, one, product, product. I can leave equation A as is. And the next one, water, product, product, one, two. I've got to double equation C. I've doubled the heat. Okay. And now I can cancel. C's are on both sides, they cancel. What else is on both sides? Hydrogens are on both sides. Now be careful, don't cancel the oxygens. They're all on the reactant side, which means we add them together. They didn't cancel, they combined together. CH4 plus 2O2 makes CO2 and two H2Os. I add all my heats together. I get negative 802.5 molar again, but we're talking one mole of methane, so again it's the same answer, one mole, negative 802.5 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so that is lesson five.